Hi, Liz Beavers with Graphic Solutions Group, here for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today's topic is going to be understanding needles. Needle seems to be the number one misunderstood item in the embroidery industry. We get a little confused. Uh, we weren't explained which needles to use on which products. So I'm going to briefly go over that to kind of help you out. Fabrics that stretch in any direction, like this polo, stretches left to right and up and down. You definitely need to use a ballpoint needle on these products. Since they're made of knit, that ballpoint, when it enters the fabric, stretches the knit out. Then when the needle comes out, the knit goes back. You don't want to use a sharp on this particular product because it could pierce the knit and then cause tiny little holes around your design. When it comes to products such as hats, shoes, these mats, these are really thick and sturdy. So you're going to want to use a sharp needle to make sure it penetrates and goes through those particular products, especially down the seam of ball caps. Uh, we have buckram backing. On this one, we have 3D foam as well. We really need that piercing power. So let's go with a sharp needle. So any fabric that doesn't stretch, that could be towels, robes, Carhartt jackets, or these products here, use a sharp needle. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is spend a lot of time changing out needles on my machine. So here's a tip for you. Needles one through eight, most of my products do stretch. So it's my most common. I am going to use and place in those needles the ballpoint. Needles nine through 12 or 15, however many needles you have, I'm going to put in my sharps. This way, if I'm doing hats, I just make sure I put my threads on those last uh, nine through 12 needles and do my hats or my products that require a sharp on that end. However, once you take the needles out of the pack, the standard color is silver. Once you take it out of the pack, you don't know if you're holding a sharp or a ballpoint or which one you used. So my tip is on your sharp needles, use a titanium. Titanium is three times stronger. It's gold in color and it has that longer lasting piercing to go through these heavy products because it is three times stronger. So now when I look at my machine, I should only see gold needles on needles nine through 12 and they should never be on one through eight because I know the gold are my sharp needles. So for more information on needles and how this all works together, visit our link below and come visit us on our website. We also have other classes that we're offering besides just embroidery. So visit our GSG University class and come visit and see more products at gogsg.com.